Hello and welcome, my name is Romney. Now we're just about to approach the busiest time of the whole year as we're close to Christmas Day. Now the period of October to December is known as Q4. And if you haven't been part of Q4 before, it's the busiest time to sell more books and to get more reviews. But what can you do to help amplify your book sales and see even up to a 200% increase in sales during this period of time? From experience, I'm going to share with you some of those tips and tricks to help you sell more books and provide some additional resources that will help you for the long term for your publishing. Let's get into it right now. So what are the actions that you can take to help you be in a position where you can sell more books? Well, let's look at the typical uh, graph that you're likely to see, depending on what stage you're at. So this was actually in my first year of publishing. So I wanted to show you this because as uh, someone that started at the very beginning of, oh, look, it was December 2019 I started. So really, January, if we think of January through to December, this is what my book sales look like. So you can see how October I started selling a few more, November it ramped up, and by December 18, I think that was the peak of my sales during that time. Then there was a significant drop off after Christmas, but that's expected as people stop buying books. But it wasn't just a straight line, so you can see how it almost uh, represents a heartbeat. But what are the things that you can do and ways that you can think about for this period of time. Well, firstly, think from the customer's perspective. What are the books that they're likely to be looking for? Are they gonna be gift books? Are they gonna be activity books for their kids if they're going on holidays or they're flying on an aeroplane or they're on a road trip or they're going camping? Whatever it might be, think from the customer's perspective. So that's important to sort of think through because you're not creating a book from an author. You're, you're not the one buying the book. It'll be customers. So think of the A plus content, think of the covers you're creating, and think of the long-term journey of that book. Next one, increase your exposure to Amazon advertising. This is probably one of the key ones. And the hard thing is, a lot of other people will start to, start to advertise on Amazon advertising. And this causes the price or the clicks to increase. So yes, you're likely to be spending more as the bidding process increases. Keywords become more expensive, but you need to think about it as an investment towards the long-term future of your book. If you're not competitive in this space and you're not marketing or advertising, you can't expect to be selling more books. You need to get that exposure. And you might have books that are in very, very competitive niches. Therefore, you need to expect that those clicks are going to be more. However, if you're in a low competition niche, this is a time to shine. This is where your niche research really comes out. So you need to ensure that you do start some campaigns and start them now. So I typically start ramping up towards the Christmas sales in about October in preparation for the December sales. But if you haven't started, it is not too late. Get started and create those campaigns. If you need help with that, I do have a Udemy course, a very affordable Udemy course, a best-selling course that you can use to help you with your Amazon ads. I'll leave that in the link um, below. Sorry, in the description below with a link. Only add new books until the end of October. Now, we're already at the end of October. We're halfway into November. So therefore, I wouldn't be creating more books unless you're planning to sell these well into 2024. If you are creating, if you're thinking of creating books for Christmas, then it might be a bit too late because you need to think about your launch process, getting your keywords ranked, and then being competitive to get reviews by your Amazon advertising as well. Because the more sales you get, the more reviews you'll get as well. So don't create any more books you need to really transfer your train of thought into focusing on what you've already got. And that's pretty much what the next point is. Shift from creating books to marketing and advertising. Now you might say, well, I don't have money to market my books or I, I don't have 
a marketing budget and I'm just going to let Amazon do its thing. Well, you're leaving yourself incredibly exposed to underperform if that's your line of thought. If you don't have a marketing budget, you need to be creative in the way that you do market your books. Don't expect Amazon to be marketing your books, particularly at this busiest time of the year. They will be rewarding people that are sorry, advertising their books and marketing their books through their own platform of AMS. So you need to think creatively if you don't have a budget. If you do have a budget, then allocate a fair bit during this period of time. So don't create now, just shift that focus to marketing in the existing portfolio. So what are some tips that I can share with you overall that will help you for this process? Well, let's look at a little bit of a summary here. 40% of your annual sales occur during this time. And it's a great time where you can start to build momentum as a creator of fantastic books. And 90% of your reviews will likely occur to the, during this time as well. I've found that as people buy for Christmas and then they might gift those books, if that person receiving the book likes that book, then you're likely to receive a great review. And that's where it's important. If you haven't been receiving reviews throughout the year, then now is a really time to get those reviews. Sales ramp up in mid-December, but then drop significantly after the 22nd, 23rd of December. And it even takes a bit of time in January for those sales to pick up again. Sales will be de determined by the types of books that you sell. And if you've got Christmas themed books or gift books, then obviously they're going to be selling more than a book about um, Easter. <laughs> so you need to think about what kinds of books you're selling and look at your portfolio. If you've got quite a few books and just think of the customer and what books they're likely to be buying. Next one is December KDP royalties won't be paid until February next year, 2024. So if you're spending a fair bit of money in Amazon advertising, for December, then you're going to be charged in early December for those Amazon ads. But you need to wait until February, the end of February, before you get any royalties for your Christmas sales. So it's something to really factor in. A lot of people get caught out. They spend so much money during Q4 or even during December that they don't allow for the payment to be occurring 60 days later. So ensure that you budget accordingly, have a plan in place so that you can pay for your Amazon advertising in January, and then you'll receive your payments or your author uh, royalties in February. And it can undo you if you don't budget correctly. So think very carefully about that. And that's the hardest thing about this whole period of time is that it is so busy, you do spend a bit of money on advertising and you see the sales come in, but the delay of the sale payments can really hurt you. So I hope those tips help you in this important part of the year. It's such an important time to get sales, to help you get reviews, and then ultimately by getting a combination of both, that will help you get traction within the algorithm of Amazon and will help your book sell more often to more customers because it's gonna be shown more frequently. Particularly if you've got books that are popular at this time of the year. Sometimes during the year, those books might drop off if it's a Christmas word search book or a puzzle book about Christmas. It may, in fact, be picked up again by the algorithm and shown the following year. So get as much traction as you can as many sales, reviews, by doing all the things I've spoken about today, and then hopefully you'll get a book that will be a long-term seller for you. So I hope everything's helped you here. Best of luck with the Christmas sales, and look forward to sharing more information with you in the near future. So until then, goodbye.